Today's video is less of an AI tool that will increase your workflow productivity and more of here's something fun that's AI based that really makes you think about the nuanced and novel ways that AI can be applied. In the future, everything will be generated, not retrieved from a database. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is WebSim AI. This is an AI based website that generates websites on command using AI. And it does so in a very interesting way. It's not like an AI website builder tool. It's a AI exploration tool almost. You can see if you go to the general websim.ai site, you can see there's a bunch of community made AI websites. Now we're gonna take a look at some of those later. First off, I wanna show you how it works. As you can see, the website itself looks like a browser window on your desktop. And don't get it confused with your real one up here, which is something that I made the mistake of doing several times. As you can see, it says HTTPS WebSim AI. I'm going to delete that and let's go to a brand new website. Let's go to Matt's favorite lemons.co.uk and then we'll press enter. And what happens next is really quite magical. It will load in quotes the website, but actually what's happening is the AI in the background is making you a website from scratch. And yes, it's a real website. It's real HTML code that it's making, but it all happens in real time. And you can see we have um, Matt's favorite lemons about Matt's lemon obsession. And it comes up with this whole backstory. I'm Matt. I'm a quest to discover and share the most extraordinary lemons from around the world. Top five lemons. I'm surprised. Usually it will generate pictures, but in this case it did not generate pictures. But it's a fully functional website. Let's say I click on like Lemon Festival over here. It actually changes the URL up at the top to say lemonfestival.co.uk and it creates a whole brand new website based off that previous one. And you can see it links back to the previous Matt's Lemon Guide there, so it also follows the same exact theme. So it's really interesting stuff. You can get really creative, and just by coming up with like a URL, you can have all of these crazy creative websites and it's like exploring the web from an alternate universe or an alternate dimension. It's like interdimensional cable from Rick and Morty but for websites and it all happens on command with AI. Again, the future with AI is all generative, so think about it. Generative TV shows, generative websites, generative everything. Think about when these things are customized for you or customized around the data that you have built up about yourself online. There is a lot to think about, and this is sort of like a little peel back into the future. They do have some other features as well, like right over here, we've got a bookmark feature and a save feature. So I can bookmark this site for later, and you can see I've saved a, a couple of ones to show you. I think the light one just contributes to like making it a community website that will show up often in the search page. I don't know. I know that the WebSim AI website here is kind of like this new beta thing. A lot of people in my Discord actually told me not to make a video about it because they wanted to hog it for themselves. But you know, I crash website sometimes, but I got to share the love. I, I got to share the cool little AI entertainment tools, whatever it might be. I got to share it with the rest of the viewers. I can't gatekeep stuff. Okay, so let's start to get a little bit fancier. Let's see if we can make this thing actually come up with a video game. Let's say keep the apple safe from the snake dot game. What will it try to do here? Obviously, it doesn't work out perfectly every time and we can't really expect it to. Okay, it's definitely generated some code in the background there. Let's press start game. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's some objects floating in. Apple safe one. Apparently we're doing a pretty good job. Game over. The snake got the apple. Like what is going on? Is this the snake? Where is the apple? It's still a cool concept. Like it's so interesting to see the way the AI interprets things and just generates them on command based off of what the URL might possibly look like in this alternate dimension or alternate reality. Let's say Physics Simulator dot GG. Physi physics Simulator GG explores the laws of nature through interactive simulations. Whoa, look, it's got all of these simulations you can try. And again, these haven't been generated yet, but once I click on them, it makes a new link on a new website and generates it all for you. It's cool because this wasn't really possible before, but now with the advent of faster good large language models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet or GPT-4.0. These things are now possible, coding in real time almost. I mean, it's almost like 
loading up a, a website in the early 2000s or something. Like that's how fast these AIs can build a website in HTML. So let's just start off with uh, the pendulum chaos and obviously if you middle click classically like a real web browser will open up a brand new tab and generate this so I can go back to that original website if I want to and by the way yes you can go up to the top here just copy this link and share the website with anyone they're real actual websites that are all hosted on WebSim AI that's why I'm kind of a little bit worried about making this video because you know decent amount of viewers you guys might make a lot of websites you might crash every Everything. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, double pendulum length of pendulum. Does this actually work start simulation? Oh, it is working It's actually doing a real physics simulation. The gravity is a little bit low though I think length of pendulum too. I, I think the pendulum. Oh, I can increase the mass and the gravity It all actually reflects in real time. I'm impressed by this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and it has a real trail too. Look at this. Wow, this is kind of like a pretty advanced thing for an AI to just generate all at once. It's, I mean, it's a whole website made in almost real time, right? Look at that, and it actually gives you some information, highly sensitive to initial conditions. Oh, it's this is like an actual double pendulum. I understand now. I understand the what simulation this is supposed to replicate. Look at the trail. This is really cool. I don't think the gravity goes high enough for this to actually work, and I don't think the physics simulation is working exactly as intended, but this is really cool. Again, folks, these these AI models are getting better every single day, and people forget that. Oh, look, see, it does have the ability to generate images, as I said, so, you know, now we got all these nice Im images. Let's try the particle collider, and all of this is being generated in real time again like you can almost kind of forget that's how fast it is everything kind of loads up and you're like oh my internet's just a bit slow nope there is the code being written in real time by claude 3.5 i think is the model we're using right now yeah sonnet 3.5 you can see gpt 40 haiku all right so start collision okay this seems to actually be working again i'm pretty impressed by this proton electron neutron i mean this is this is really cool man <laughs> It's just actually doing it. This one actually seems to be working like somewhat flawlessly. I mean, you physics people, not let me know because physics was never my department. Look, it shows you how many particles are detected down below. Total energy, various subatomic particles. I mean, is this... This is a simulation, guys, of, of your body right now. This is what's going on at the subatomic level. <laughs> Man, I'm really impressed by all this. All right, black hole gravity. Again, we're loading it up. It all gets generated in real time for you. There it is. You can see everything starting to actually pop up into place. Look at this. It gives you like a what's happening. I mean, this is like something you'd see in, I don't know, a museum of some sort, maybe like a physics museum, museum of science. You can actually change the mass and it grows as well. Observer distance. All right, we can add an accreditation list, to toggle gravitational lensing. All right, I don't know exactly um, what we're working with here, but I don't think it's I don't think it's working correctly. Wave interface now. Okay, frequency, wave amplitude. I mean, look at it generate like understanding wave frequency and all this stuff. It's it's incredible. I get my mind blown quite frequently. Uh, being in the position that I'm in, but this is really cool. This one looks like it actually works pretty good. This also might happen sometimes. It doesn't load all the way, so our simulation isn't really interactive right now, but that's more or less just the API either being slow or I, I don't know exactly what's going on. Anyways, I think that's a good demonstration of the capabilities that these large language models have to essentially generate websites in real time. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. We're going to stay on the physics simulator website, but we're going to do slash sim slash human human hand. So now it's supposed to be a simulation of a human hand. You can get specific with it, and you can kind of almost prompt it in a way. Look at this. Control the thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, gravity. Look at all this. Let's see. Gripping an object, piano playing, writing, simulation. Is it going to be able to do all this? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. It looks like this one was a little bit too complicated. It kind of just made the framework for it, but pretty cool nonetheless. You can also do funny things like instead of Instagram, we can do Instagram Cracker. And you can see it will essentially generate a fake parody website of Instagram for Graham Cracker enthusiasts. And it does like a pretty good job. Obviously, it's trying to generate images in the background to support stuff like this. But we do have, you know, comments and likes and captions, which is pretty funny. But I just had an idea. You see profile. We could continue on this website and do profile 
file slash user slash Snoop Dogg. What does Snoop Dogg's profile look like on the Graham Cracker parody website? You can see it kept the same exact theme. He has uh, 420 posts, 420 million followers, and he's following uh, 1337 people. Drop it like it's hot, Graham Cracker connoisseur, CEO of Snoop's Munchies, Inc. <laughs> so it did, again, a pretty good job here. You can see it even gave him a check mark to say that he's been followed. And yeah, I mean, obviously it didn't generate the rest of it here, but you know, again, this is more of like a play around website, more of just exploring some concepts and some ideas rather than something that is meant to make your life more useful. Another really funny thing you can do is do government websites. So we'll type in usgovernment.gov slash welcome our new alien overlords. And now we get a nice <laughs> uh, government website saying uh, intergalactic communiqua. Greetings, humans of Earth. We, the Galactic Federation of Zorp, have assumed control of your planet. Resistance is futile. <laughs> As your president, I want you to assure that we're working tirelessly to address this unprecedented unpre situation. Wow, they promised advanced tech, universal healthcare, and an end to climate change in exchange for our cooperation. Click here to pledge allegiance to Zorp. <laughs> See, this is the stuff that I love. I mean, the background prompting must have it, you know, be maybe a little bit comedy based or something because it seems to do stuff like this quite often. Well, let's, we have to pledge our allegiance. Thank you for your compliance, human. Your cooperation has been noted in the great Zorpian database. Thank God. <laughs> usgovernment.gov slash whoops we blew up Ohio. If you live in Ohio, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, not really. Who lives in Ohio anyways? Urgent alert. The U.S. government regret regrets to inform citizens of an unforeseen incident involving the state of Ohio. Due to a series of highly improbable events and an unfortunate clerical error, Ohio has accidentally mi been misplaced. Geographical realignment. Misfiled requisition form for an experimental quantum tunneling technology. Overzealous intern with access to wrong set of buttons. We are working, working tirelessly to relocate Ohio and bring it back to its rightful place. God bless America and God help us find Ohio. <laughs> Ohio sighting hotline. 1-800-FIND-OHIO <laughs> Ohio Tracker Oh, we gotta know <laughs> Guys, we misplaced Ohio I feel like this is the perfect website for streamers to have, like, a lot of fun with, you know? We have the last known coordinates uh, Subject to quantum fluctuations So we have some 2023 sightings here, July 6th Brief Ohio-like landmass spotted in the Pacific Ocean. Reports of corn growing in unusual patterns across the mid Midwest. Possible Ohio influence. Report an Ohio sighting. And of course, yeah, we can type in here. Submit sighting. Time since disappearance. Oh, man. U.S. government portal official Ohio tracker. I love it. All right, let's go to a new website. This time we're going to do order galactic pizza for delivery dot Milky Way. I think the silly goofy stuff is easily the most fun to mess around with. I don't know if you guys agree with me. Again, this is like completely free to use. I don't know how free it's going to stay after I make you know, obviously a video on it. Uh, the costs can go pretty high through the roof. Galactic pizza delivery. Our cosmic menu, Supernova Supreme, Meteor Mozzarella, Alien Veggie Delight. Place your intergalactic order, your name, uh, planet slash space station, galaxy. Select your pizza and then quantity. <laughs> okay, so going back home, you can see that there are, you know, liked from today, a week, a month, and there's also brand new websites that are being made all the time. Oh, nice. We have the ASI emergency shutdown protocol. Let's check this one out. Warning, ASI emergency shutdown. Let's click the shutdown. Oh, we have to have the code. Uh, the secret code is obviously lemon. Invalid shutdown code access denied. I don't know what the shutdown code is. Kind of a cool website, though. I like the background. This is pretty cool. This is an interactive solar system visualization. Hard to believe that AI made all of this. We can change the orbit speed. We can change the camera speed, the sun density. I mean, that's pretty cool. They have a synthesizer made in here. I mean, that's crazy. Oh my God, it works. So can I just change all of these values? Oh my God, dude, that is crazy. It's crazy that the AI can just develop stuff like this.
<laughs> so we obviously have like top of the month windows 98 desktop oh my god and of course it freaking works can i move stuff around can does paint where oh my god paint actually this is crazy dude no way you could just open up paint there it is folks wow <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy man that's crazy warcraft okay and this obviously is loading up another website of some form i assume right win 2k five minute load time notepad you know you could just type stuff in here discord wow look at that here we've got like some tentacle builder thing i mean i don't know what this is again all generated on the fly folks uh using ai large language models this one's actually like laggy kind of makes beautiful patterns though i will say and yeah i mean there is like an absolute plethora of uh different websites you can explore that are made by the community so there's a, there's a lot to look at. I'm going to be doing a live stream on it. It's going to be linked down in the description below and in the comments. And that is scheduled for June 28th at 1 p.m. EST. So get tuned for that if you can. And obviously, you know, all my live streams are posted on YouTube after the fact anyways. But now I want to dive into just a few of my bookmarks here. So you can save anyone's website, of course. This one was pretty funny. This is call an Uber uh, for someone who's drunk. Go back home. I'm scared. Summon Uber, obviously. <laughs> okay, I think I called them. <laughs> this is a nice Rickroll website. It's the ultimate Rickroll experience. Get ready for uh, to be Rickrolled like never before. Click here to get Rickrolled. And if you click it, sure enough, your guess is as good as mine, except it's like this fake YouTube clone that only has Rick Astley stuff. They also have uh, stupiditytest.co, so embrace your stupidity and you can sign up for stupidity testing. So yeah, folks, embrace your inner idiot. Get ready to embark on a journey of a blissful ignorance. Uh, name or preferred nickname, current stupidity level. Mildly dumb, quite foolish, impressively idiotic, or transcendentally moronic. And your stupidest talent. Submit if you can find the button. <laughs> So yeah, folks, that is WebSim AI, of course, linked down below. Right now, at the time of making this video, it is indeed free, but we don't know if that's going to change. Obviously, someone is footing the bill for all of these API credits for these various large language models, whether it be an open AI, an anthropic model, etc. Someone's got to be paying for all of this. They also have a Discord server, which I haven't taken a peek at yet, but... I think I am going to try to let them know in advance that I am making this video, so hopefully they can kind of get the servers up and ready for when this video launches so you guys can test out WebSim AI for yourselves. Again, folks, don't forget to check out my live stream. And yeah, let me know what you think about the future of generative AI. I mean, would you want your websites generated or at least modified on command to fit your specific preferences? And let me know what other ideas surrounding this you have have. There's so much potential that we just don't even see yet for this kind of technology. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.